Tri-Talent Data Integration Certified Developer Exam Questions for Preparation 1. Which capabilities does Traces Debug provide? Choose two answers. A filtering which data is propagated by a flow. B. Advancing one column at a time. C. Breaking on a selected line of code. D. Breaking when an input column fulfills a condition. E. Advancing one row at a time. Answer. D. E. 2. Which characteristics distinguish Traces Debug from Java Debug? Choose two answers. A. Allow row-by-row -row inspection of data flows. B. Requires a separate perspective. C. Require Java development experiences. D. Supports breakpoints based on input data condition. Answer. A. D. 3. Which method allows you to execute the compiled job talent studio? A. Click the export button in the edit properties window. B. Right click the job in the repository and select build job. C. Right click the job in the repository and select export items. D. Select save as on the main file menu. Answer. B. 4. You are collaborating on a project with other developers using Talend best practices. When should you use a tag? A. Capturing snapshot of a codebase that requires ongoing maintenance. B. Fixing hugs or enhancements. C. Denoting major or minor releases. D. Denoting a milestone in the life cycle of a project. Answer. D. 5. Which statement is true about the sync columns button on the basic settings tab of the component view? Choose two answers. A retrieves and synchronizes the output file schema with the input file schema for T file outputted limited. B. Retrieves the schema of the current component to match the next component. C. Retrieves the schema from the input component connected in the lob. D. Retrieves and synchronizes the output schema with the input schema for T Java row. Answer. C. D. 6. You are building a complex job and want to explore different options for optimizing execution times using parallelism. How can you identify execution times to verify the effectiveness of your changes? Choose two answers. A. Observing the execution time in the code view. B. Heading the timestamps from the execution console in the run view. C. Comparing timestamp in trace debug mode. D. Observing the execution times that annotate the flows in the designer. Answer. B. D. 7. You created a job to process a customer database. Next, you want to debug the job using traces debug and pause the execution when it encounters any records for customers residing in the state of California. A. Add a breakpoint in the Advanced Settings tab of the Run view. B. Open the Debug Run tab of the Run view and click Traces Debug. C. Right-click the trace on the output of the input component and select Add Breakpoint. D. Right-click the trace on the output of the input component and select Show Breakpoint Setup. Answer. D. 8. Which statements 8 true about a torn component? Choose two answers. 
A used alongside a T-log catcher in order for the log data collected to be encapsulated and passed on to the output defined. B. Used only in conjunction with the log4j feature. C. Used to trigger a warning often caught by the T-log catcher component for an exhaustive log. D. Used only in conjunction with I-log catcher component. Answer. A. C. 9. In some instances, after applying changes to a component schema, you are asked if you would like to propagate the changes. What is the significance of this prompt? A. Confirm out you want to apply the schema, changes to the previous component in the job. B. Confirm that you want to apply the schema changes to the selected component. C. Confirm that you want to apply the schema changes to both the previous and next components in the job. D. Confirm that you want to apply the schema changes to the next component in the job. Answer. D. 10. You have two Talon jobs. Job A need to call job B after job B is complete. Process data stored in the T buffer output buffer memory must be transferred back to job A. How can you achieve this requirement? A. Select the transmit whole context in the basic settings of the T run job when calling job B from job A. B. Select the transmit whole context in advanced settings of the T run job when calling job B from job A. C. Select the propagate the child result to output schema in advanced settings of the T run job when calling job B from job B. D. Select the propagate the child result to output schema in the basic settings of the T run job when calling B from job A. Answer. C.